Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? The problem is I never know if you guys can hear me. Maybe I need to take out my earbuds. Hold on. Let me not even do this. Hello, hi. I can never tell if you can hear me because the comments don't come up right away. So you guys think I'm ignoring your comments, but I can't see your comments right now. Even if you can see them, I cannot see them. Hello from sunny, gorgeous New Jersey, Manasquan, New Jersey. I am sitting in the backyard of my house. That's my house, back of it. Um, and I am going to take a walk to the beach in a little while. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys something that I realized yesterday that I think if you are the parent of a preteen or a teenager, this is a conversation for you. So I'm away. As you know, I'm in New Jersey. My children are in Birmingham with their father. And um, no, we're not separated. No, we don't live apart. No, nothing's wrong with our marriage. We just, this is how we've always been. We're extremely independent and we move independently of each other. So before the questions start, no, we are not separated. Um, but yesterday I had texted Olivia. Hey baby, how are you? Um, how was the game? Whatever. I, I don't know, mom stuff, right? No response. No response to the text. But I'm getting like random snaps from her, like her window, her sandwich, her bathroom. And I'm like, okay. So I don't say anything. And about an hour goes by and I text her again. I'm like, where are you? Like, what are you doing? no response and then i get like a snap of her dresser and then like a picture that she liked you know she's snapping right and i'll be honest i don't really use snapchat like i don't really use snapchat i'm not like a snapper i have snapchat because sometimes i like the filters and it's fun like on christmas time and stuff like that but i don't like, I'm not like a snapper, right? So anyway, I, I go to Courtney's last night and like Court's making salad and I'm working and we're hanging out, whatever. And I text Olivia again. And I'm like, baby girl, what are you doing? Like, why are you not answering me? And no answer, but I see she's snapping. She's like, snaps me her broken shoelace and She's cleaning out her closet, snaps piles of clothes in her closet. Like she's cleaning out her closet. And I walk outside and I'm like, what is this kid's problem? Like I'm, t I'm texting her and she's ignoring me, but she's snapping me and that feels disrespectful. And now I'm getting frustrated. And Courtney said something like, she's not ignoring you. She's showing you and telling you exactly what she's doing. She's just doing it in her language. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, she's snapping you. That's a good thing. Like, that's how kids her age communicate. That's their texting. So you're texting her and 13 year olds don't really text, they snap. So you're texting her and she probably sees what you're writing and her way of responding to you is to snap you and give you the answers that you're looking for. So I'm like, huh? And so I, I'm, I take a second to process this and what I realize is it goes back to love language. How often we want people to love us the way we want to be loved. Do it, respond to me and love me and see me the way I want or it isn't valid. And the truth is all the information I was looking for, granted, not my love language, not my communication language, but also communication was coming to me via her 
communication language. And listen, could I take a stand with my daughter and go, it's disrespectful, answer my text? Sure. Could I strong arm her into answering my text message? Absolutely. Could I mom up? Could I mom up the situation like you will not ignore my text messages? Sure. But I'm getting so much more from Olivia looking at her snaps and what she's showing me than I ever would in text messages, which is not her communication preference. That's not the way she wants to talk to me. That's not the way she communicates. So yes, I can force her to text me back and, and call it respect or whatever, but I'll get a fine, good, nothing, but if I pay attention to the way she wants to communicate with me, I get so much more. Oh, you're cleaning out your closet? Your shoelace broke? Okay, we'll handle that when I get home. Oh, you're, you're picking stuff out of your braces? Oh, oh my gosh, cute, you, you cleaned your dresser off. I love that. Like, I'm getting so much more from her, letting her communicate in the way that she's more comfortable communicating than I ever would if I pushed her to communicate the way I receive communication and the way I prefer to communicate. So why do I share this with you? So you could judge me as a mom? No, definitely not. I share this with you to say that sometimes the way people need to love us, the way they need to communicate to us, the way they need to approach us, really is the way that we will get the best love and communication from them if we don't force our preference settings on them. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be loved the way you wanna be loved. I've been taking four M&Ms from Michael for a very long time, we all know that, but once you start to see that four M&Ms is like really what they can give you and they give them to you so genuinely and like these are the best four M&Ms and they're so delicious and I know you need seven, but I have these four and they're all for you. Once you see that they're not trying to slight you three M&Ms, they're just, they don't have seven, you, you start to not take everything so personally. So what I was able to do last night is realize Olivia's not ignoring me. She's not trying to be disrespectful. She actually does miss me and want to talk to me, right? My feelings about it. Oh, you're not going to answer my text message. Why? You don't miss me. You don't want to talk to me, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not it at all. She actually does. She wants me to know everything she's doing. She wants me to see what she's doing. She just has a different way of loving and communicating. And if I can receive that, I will be happier. I will be happier because she's happy. She's fine. She's snapping away and that's how she does her thing and that's how she like communicates and shows love and lives her life. It's me who felt away. I was the one that was like, she's ignoring me and blah, blah, blah. No, she wasn't. I just needed to be course corrected. I needed a mom who was not emotionally invested in the situation, who wasn't getting her feelings hurt to go, hey, step back and look how lucky you are that your daughter is snapping you for two hours. She's sending you every move she's making. Believe me, most moms would kill for that much communication. And once I realized, yes, Courtney, you are absolutely right. Thank you for pointing that out to me. My daughter is doing everything she can to show me like what she's doing right now and how much progress she's made on her room and that she misses me. Like, I don't know, it was, it really changed my perspective and I hope that me sharing this with you can share, can change yours too. If you are struggling with the way that people in your life love you and communicate with you, um, not everyone is a speed texter, not everyone is a phone call maker, not, you know, people communicate in different ways and that has to be okay. We can't put our factory settings on other people. Like I texted you, you didn't text me right back. Like not everybody is a texter. Not everybody wants to text right back. Some people actually see texts and get very anxious by the notifications. They're like, ugh, I can't deal with another text. So we just have to remember that so long as people in our lives are making the effort to communicate and to love, like we have to try to meet each other halfway here, stay out here, babe, she's working. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. It was really profound for me yesterday. I'm really grateful that I got that perspective. It was so eye-opening for me. 
Um, and I hope that it was eye-opening for you too. And honestly, I don't like pump and push for you guys to share my videos often because like I figure if you wanna share them or not, you can. But I really do think you should share this video with any mom groups you're in or mom friends you have or on your Facebook pages because I think sometimes when we are dealing with preteens and teenagers, the way they love and the way they communicate is so different from what we expect and what we need. And I think this perspective is really important and will set people free emotionally because it really did me. Um, so if you would be so inclined to share this video, I think it would could help people for real, for real. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to walk towards the beach. It's a little windy, but it's sunny and beautiful. And today's my last day here. So I love you. Love you. Love you. And I hope that you have a great, great day.